स्टेप बाई स्टेप क्लास सेवन पेंसिल शेडिंग टॉपिक स्टडी केयरफुली द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रोक्स फॉर्म बाई डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पेंसिल ऑल्सो प्रैक्टिस दम इन द स्पेस प्रोवाइडेड हियर फोर काइंड ऑफ पेंसिल शेडिंग मेथड्स हैव बीन गिवेन बिफोर गोइंग टू लर्न द डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ पेंसिल शेडिंग इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो अबाउट डिफरेंट ग्रेड्स ऑफ पेंसिल्स प्लीज फॉलो द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स फॉर द टॉपिक ग्रेड्स ऑफ पेंसिल्स Let us see the different pencil shading methods given here. First one is straight stroke method. This is the method which we are going to deal with further in this class. So what is straight stroke method how to be done like? First you take a HB pencil, give few strokes in a straight way as it is a straight stroke method. So what is this straight stroke method? So normally if I move my pencil it's a line. Whereas we have to use a stroke here which we use a more pressure here in the beginning and leave it off. like a tick mark we say the darkness will be more here in the initial stage and slowly it fades as you are using a hb pencil you will be getting a light lines few lines you give these are the three stage method so first step to be followed in all the three boxes So next we have to take a 2B pencil to be overlap on the first step. Well, these are all the first steps. As I'm using a 2B, here you can find the lines are bit darker than the first step. In third step we have to use a 6B pencil and then few more strokes to be given a bit short in size than the first and second. Here I used a HB pencil and I given a long strokes and light in shade. In second step, I used a 2B pencil on first step and reduced the size of the stroke and given few strokes on the same. In the third step, I used a 6B pencil or you can use a 5B or a 4B, a little higher than 2B pencil, reduce the size of the stroke and just overlap on the previous few strokes which you have given in first and second step. So this is the method to be followed here. Next one is hatching. Here. actually hatching contains with only single lines whereas we do in opposite way it is called cross hatching so this method is actually called cross hatching let us learn both the pencil shading methods here hatching and cross hatching let us see by using a hb pencil give some lines like this you can use like a lines instead of strokes seem to be followed in all the three boxes as i'm showing the first step take to be pencil decrease the size of the line here or the stroke here and overlap on the first step let us take 6b for the third step to be decrease the size of the line here here we use strokes whereas here we use like a lines this is the basic difference between these two let us see about the cross hatching take a hb pencil then in opposite way and is like a slanting direction you can give few more on this taking to be pencil to be overlap on the first step and reduce the size of that line as well as for this Let us take 6B for the final step to be cross hatched. Let's see about the stippling third method. This method basically formed by only dots. So we have to use a HB pencil and give few dots whatever the form you want. I'm using a HB pencil for the first step. HB pencil for the second step. In first step, we have to stipple with uh, HB pencil with more gap in between these uh, stippled dots. In second step, you have to reduce the gap between those dots by using a 2B pencil.
take a 6B pencil, reduce the gap between those dots and give very closely. As you are using 6B pencil, you will get very dark in shade. This is what with the stippling. The next one is soft blending. For soft blending, you have to use your pencil low in angle, like under palm method. If you hold the pencil like under palm method, you can hold like so you can low down your pencil and shade in left right direction lightly with HB pencil. Take a 2B pencil. The same to be followed by just reducing the percentage of the place here. Taking a 6B pencil to use further more darkened shade here where you want a darker side. This is with the soft blending. Soft blending also can be done like using your pencil as low as possible to the surface of the sheet and give more dark in shade initially in the beginning and reduce the pressure, leave of the pressure and slowly go down. The movement of downwards direction should be very minute. Relieve the pressure and you will be formed with a light shade. This is also kind of a soft blending which we generally follow. Let us see one more method scribbling. Scribbling. So scribbling we form just moving by in any direction. The first step to be used is HB pencil. Taking a 2B pencil to be overlapped and increase the pressure level. Reduce the gap between these lines. You can move your pencil in any direction. Using a 6B pencil, moving my pencil now very closely. As I'm using a 6 dimension, it'll be getting a dark and shade. When you're moving towards this side, increase the gap between those lines and reduce the pressure level. There is one more method, smudging. Let us see smudging. For smudging where you want a darker shade, there you use it darkly. Just apply or you can use a powder also, pencil powder. Use more powder here like to smudge with your thumb or like you take a tissue paper. We are going towards this side and make it light. I use more powder or more graphite here. It comes dark in shade. You have to use very less powder where you want a lighter shade. These are the different methods of pencil shadings. Straight stroke method, hatching, cross hatching, stippling, soft blending, scribbling and the last one is smudging. Let's sign off.